What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. In today's one, I'm gonna be showing you how to build a rocket from scratch. No, I'm joking, I'm not gonna be showing you that. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a beat because, I mean, that's what I do. I make beats all the time, every day, non-stop, don't sleep, don't eat, make beats. One of my favorite beats that dropped this year was by DJ Mustard for YG, Go Loco, that beat. That beat is amazing in my opinion. I really like that slow trap style. I think that's going to be a wave. So in today's one, I'm going to be making a beat like that, inspired by DJ Mustard, that slow trap style with that Mexican mariachi, I think it's mariachi, mariachi influence. That's what I'm going to be going for today. So yeah, before we get into it though, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Subscribe to the channel, join the family, and also hit the bell so every single time I post a video, you get a notification, you won't miss another one. With that being said, let's get into the video. Ocean Gang go drown. Today, actually, I feel like doing the drums first. I'm gonna add in just the clap and the kick, just so I have something, like a rhythm to go off. And I've got to lower the BPM to like, say like 100. Something like that. Drag that in there. Command O, Command J, Command D, duplicate that Ultra B. I'm going to get a kick for my Nomad kit. Let me drag that in there. I like that so far. Actually, let me move that over, drag in this pattern. All right, that's calm for like the basic right there. And you know, I'm just going to add in a hi-hat real quick too. I'm just going to EQ that as well. So I wanted to have like more of a high pitch sound. And let's just like take it off grid slightly. Alright, that's calm. Let me go ahead and add, start adding the melody. I'm gonna be using my favourite plugin right now man, Ample Guitar Lite, like the free plugin. And I'm just going to pull in a MIDI file. I'm making this huge MIDI pack for producers that I'm going to be dropping real, real soon. It's going to have hundreds of different MIDI files, different chord progressions. So I'm just going to drag in one of them right now. I just dragged in those chords and this is what we've got here. Fix it up a little bit. Let me just solo the guitar for now. Uh, cue it a little bit. Let's add in some some reverb, some chroma verb. Right, I think that's good. I'm gonna duplicate that, and I'm just gonna try and find like a counter melody to go with this. So what I did just there is take the top notes of each of the chords and I've just moved it down an octave to give the chord a different inversion. Um. 
Alright, I like that, and I'm just gonna do the same thing for this side as well. It's kind of like arpeggiating. Smooth these down an octave. I'm just going to EQ it slightly as well, take out some of the low end. And I think I'm going to change this guitar sound to the paid version of Anvil Guitar. It sounds just a slightly bit different, I like the way the free one sounds too, but just to add a bit of variation. sounds good so far. I'm going to open up another guitar from Philharmonic this time and I don't know I'm just going to add a counter melody something to go with this. Two thousand years later. All right, so I finished penciling in the melody. It took me quite a while to do, but this is what we got so far now. So I'm just going to select some random notes right here, change up the velocities a bit. I'm just holding shift and clicking on the notes so they select like more than one at once. And then let's add in some, some reverb. I like that so far, let's go ahead. Let me hear how this sounds all together actually. Nice. I like the melodies how they are so far, but I don't know, let me try and just play around adding one more thing. Let me open up, feel harmonic, see what I can add in. I think the best instrument to add on top of this, like something that will sound good, is the trumpet.
Sada, on smo čel. I don't think I should have like all of these at the same time, it's a bit clashing. I got the shake sound from Splice, so I'm just gonna drag that in there. Think up. Just like really subtle in the background. thing I'm going to add on top of this is an 808 and this beat is pretty much finished. Just going to open up Alchemy. And a lot of you guys have been asking me what 808s have I been using for my beats. Most of the time, to be honest, I'm using this 808 from my Atlantic kit. The 808 is called, it's called Narwhal. It's, it has like a very distorted sound, very hard hitting, so I'm just going to import that. everything press Q to quantize it shift option down 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 and then shift back slash to the gutter and then also let me add in a few stuff like some overdrive but I, I think I need to turn down that like, quite a lot of stuff so just gonna shift and hold all the channels in the mixer, turn everything down. This one is probably like one of my favorite beats that I've made so far. This is, this is a vibe. And yeah, that's about it for this beat. That's me trying to make like a DJ Mustard kind of style of beat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. And honestly, man, this one is probably like one of the, probably one of my favorite beats that I've ever made. This one's a vibe. I really enjoyed making this one. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And yeah, that's really it. That's about it for this video. I'll see you guys in the future.